Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're all having a good day. So today I wanted to talk about these, this Alexander Uzik and Anthony Joshua fight that looks like is going to happen. And I just wanted to give my thoughts on sort of why I think Uzik is slightly overrated in this fight. I'm not saying he's an overrated boxer, but I just, I think there's, I just really don't see an outcome of Uzik beating AJ that's likely, you know what I mean? And I just wanted to give my thoughts on uh, why I think that is. So, I, I, first of all, I just want to start off with the fact that I think Anthony Joshua is a bit, he's criticized too much for his boxing ability. I think a lot of people see him as this guy who's kind of chinny. You know, he has people say he's a glass chin. You know, you hear guys like Joseph Parker, Errol Spence Jr., and all these other heavyweight or, I mean, just boxers saying that Anthony Joshua, he's, you know, he's chinny. You know, and then you have guys like Ruiz and Fury saying that this, that AJ's, he's stiff as well. You know, he's bit of a robot as Ruiz called him and he doesn't or he lacks I guess good boxing movement or whatever and I just don't think that's the case you know I think AJ his he has a decent chin you know it's he's he's doesn't have the best chin maybe you know like yeah he's been knocked out or he's been TKO'd anyway you know and he's been dropped multiple times in his career but to say he has a glass chin I mean it's a bit far-fetched, because when I think of Glaston, I think of guys who have, you know, they get knocked out um, again and again, and again, you know what I mean? I mean, just look at guys like, I know this is MMA, but Luke Rockhold, you know? I mean, ever since he fought Bisping, he's been, you know, knocked out multiple times, you know what I mean? And, you know, same with Alistair Overeem, who, um, you know, actually lost recently uh, due to a knockout. And, you know, same with boxing, like Amir Khan, all that stuff. You know, all those guys are great fighters, but I'm just saying, you know, when I think of Glass Chin, that's what I think of when I, you know, think of Glass Chin. You know, those fighters, the fighters that it just takes one punch and they're out. While with AJ, I just don't think that's the case. You know what I mean? I think AJ, when he sees the punch coming, he, he can take it well. I think it's when he doesn't. And I guess this goes for any boxer, but it's when he doesn't see the punch coming is when it, it sort of, you know, wobbles him a bit. You know, you saw that in the Klitschko fight. You know, you saw that in the Ruiz fight where uh, AJ was trading with Ruiz and he got caught with a, I think it was a left hook behind the ear. I, I could be wrong. Or no, it was on the chin, I think. I'm not too sure, but it's basically what I'm saying is that, you know, when he sees the punch coming, he can take it well. You know what I mean? So... So yeah, to say he has a glass chin, I, I don't agree with it. I don't. He doesn't have the best chin, right? I think we can all agree on that. But you know, that to say that, um, to say he's chinny or that you know all this other nonsense, it's it's a bit far fetched. So yeah, but anyway, um, uh, on the topic of both Uzik's and AJ's styles, um, a lot of people think that. Or from what I've heard, anyway, people think that Uzik is going to, or that his style is, he's a bad matchup for AJ. Which, okay, like just, before I say anything else, like, fair enough if you have your own opinions, right? This is just my own viewpoint, right? I'm not going to try and trash anyone's opinion on anything, right? Unless it's the glass jaw nonsense, right? Like, I just, I don't have time to, you know, hear those people out, because, you know, they're reasons for that are invalid but anyway but on the topic of you know the stylistic matchup I just want to give my thoughts on why I think AJ is you know all wrong for Uzik in my opinion so you know um so another thing that people say about AJ is that he he's not a good boxer you know that's what a lot of people say and T to be honest, I also agree with or disagree with that. You know, I, I think he completely outboxed Ruiz in the rematch. And, you know, say what you want about Ruiz. He came out of shape, all that stuff. But, I mean, he still did it, you know. And even if 
Ruiz was in better shape, I still feel like he wouldn't he would not have beaten Joshua, you know. So like I still feel like AJ would still outbox him completely. And I don't think uh yeah, I don't think Ruiz won a single round in that fight. I I don't I didn't score it, but from what it looks like, I don't think he won a single round. Maybe like one round or maybe one round was a bit of a tie, I don't know. But in all honesty, like AJ dominated, right? So, you know, I I think his boxing ability or his ability to outbox opponents is also massively underrated. Um, obviously, Uzik is a master at outboxing his opponents, at cruiserweight anyway. You know, he outboxed guys like Golovaki, you know, uh, Tony Bellew, and then he knocked him out. You know, Michael Hunter as well. So, you know, he's a, and Joe Joyce in the, um, in their fight. So, you know, he's obviously, he's known for being an out, a great outboxer. And he is, you know, I, like, I'm a fan of Uzik and I'm a fan of AJ. You know, I like both these guys and... I gotta give Uzik credit in that he's a good southpaw who can completely dominate his opponents, you know, but, but anyway, so let's talk about why I think this is, you know, stylistically it's bad for Uzik. So I think Uzik is, he's good at outboxing his opponents who are, who look to just, you know, kind of how do I say this? It's He's good at outboxing shorter opponents, in my opinion, who look to just come and, you know, they try to brawl it out with Uzik, right? And I think, you know, it's because it's like that fight in the Derek Chisora fight, where Chisora, he was, he was a, his style is, oh, I'm going to come forward, I'm going to make it all dirty and stuff for you, I'm going to make you feel as uncomfortable as possible, I'm going to hold you while hitting you, all that, you know? And, you know, obviously he's he's shorter than Uzik, right? He's not smaller, obviously, because he's, you know, he's a massive guy, Chisora. But, you know, he, he has, stylistically, he's different from AJ, you know? And same with, uh, say guys, Chaz Witherspoon, I believe his name was. You know, both those guys, I mean, you know, they're not known for outboxing oppon- their opponents, right? I mean, Chisora especially, right? Um... You know, and I, in that fight, still, you know, still, he Chisora gave Uzik problems at points. You know what I mean? Like, Uzik, he, he did look uncomfortable in that fight, right? D- despite him uh, winning. You know what I mean? And I just think if, if you're going to fight, you know, Chisora, and you're still going to have some problems against Chisora, um... Or, you know, a 36-year-old Chisora who's kind of leaving his prime. I mean, that's not the a statement you really want to make when you come to heavyweight. You know what I mean? So, I just think that, you know, if Uzik fights AJ, who's the younger guy, the guy who's still learning, you know, he's, he's learning from each of his fights. He learned from the first Ruiz fight. And even the second one, I thought he looked great in the Pula fight. Then I just think that, you know... As soon as Uzik feels AJ's power, you know, his uppercut and all that, I just I just don't think that Uzik's going to be... He's definitely not going to feel comfortable taking it, you know. And, you know, a lot of people are saying he's going to outbox him. Okay, but it just... Like I said, Uz, AJ's good at boxing his opponents um, as well, or outboxing, I should say. And he's got power. You know, Uzik, on the other hand, he does have you know, some power, not as much as AJ, but, yeah, I just don't think, you know, like, even after seeing, and I guess it's not too fair to judge it based on this, but, you know, seeing the Joe Joyce fight, where Joe Joyce, you know, he, he did slightly give Uzik um, some problems at points in that fight, you know, and Joe Joyce being sim- um, a similar height to AJ, I think they're the same height, I just think that, you know, AJ, he's better, he's the better boxer than Joe, uh, Joe Joyce, you know, he's more powerful, and he's bigger, right, so I just think that's gonna give Uzik all these problems to deal with, you know, and, you know, look, obviously Uzik can win, you know, he can, like, look, he, there were moments in the Joe Joyce fight where he had success, you know, like, you know, whenever uh, Joe Joyce would throw his jab, you know, Uzik would look to step on the outside of Joe Joyce's left foot and counter with a, 
I believe it was a left, yeah, left hand, you know, you know, and all that, you know, and he, you know, Uzik did control the pace of that fight, but I just think against someone like AJ, who's, you know, naturally bigger, right, he's naturally more powerful, and, you know, who's learning from each of his fights, you know what I mean, so I just think that AJ, he's gonna, he's gonna go out there, and I think he's gonna knock Uzik out, you know, so... Yeah, that's just sort of my, um, just sort of my reasons for why I think Uzik is slightly overrated in this fight, from what I've seen, anyway. Um, listen, I like both guys, right? I like Uzik. I think he's the best at cruiserweight, you know, and I like AJ, and I think he's the best at heavyweight, right? I mean, obviously, there's this whole AJ Tyson Fury talk we can get into, but that's not the topic of today. But I just think, but anyway, I just think for this fight, I just think, yeah, the 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 bigger guy, the younger guy, I believe AJ's younger, you know, the guy who's improving from each fight. I I just think he's gonna he's gonna go out there and he's gonna he's gonna get the job done by knockout. And yeah, so yeah, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Everyone said I'm not right about everything. You know, I don't claim to be right about everything. Right, this is just my take on studying these two, you know. Um, like I said, I'm a big fan of both. I'm, you know, maybe a bit more of a fan of AJ. But look, I'm completely unbiased in this. You know, I think Uzik can win, you know. It's not an easy fight for AJ by any means. You know, Uzik could, he definitely could go out there and outbox AJ, you know, if he goes in with the right game plan. But yeah, I just think, you know, if anyone's going to win this, I just think it's AJ, you know, like we've because he's he's like I said, he's learning, you know, he's getting better, he's improving. And I just think Uzik, you know, he's from what I've seen from the Chizora fight, I just don't think, you know, it's a like, I don't, I just don't think, you know, because if, if AJ was in that fight, which is um instead of Chizora, AJ would have won, let's be honest, All right? And, you know, I, but, and I still feel like even if they were to fight in the future, that AJ would still win. So, yeah, I got AJ by knockout, you know, um, and, and that's that, you know, I don't know if this fight will happen. Uh, part of me doesn't want to see it happen just because I'm, I'm just a big fan of both, you know, like I like Uzik. I just, I don't really like him at heavyweight, but I like him at cruiserweight, you know what I mean? I enjoy you know, watching his cruiserweight fights in my spare time, you know what I mean? Because I think, you know, I like, especially the Glovaki fight and the, you know, the, uh, what was that one, Michael Hunter fight, you know, and even the Joe Joyce fight I liked watching, so, so yeah, but I got AJ, AJ by knockout, that's, that's my prediction, I don't know what round, but, um, yeah, I, I think it'll be maybe something similar to the, the Kubrat Pula fight. So, yeah, maybe a bit tougher, but we'll see. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, oh, yeah, also, side note, um, obviously, so this is a not a new channel of mine. I mean, it is, but basically, what happened to my other channel, something happened to it where I can't use it anymore, which is kind of weird. You know, I, I don't know why that's happened. So I created a new one, which is like a continuation of that last one. And, you know, that's why I've made this new channel, so... Yeah, it's this is, yeah, this isn't like a new channel, you know, where it's like new stuff and everything. It's just, you know, I, I don't know, YouTube, just something happened to it. Um, but that's that. So anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll probably be posting more videos in the future. Um, hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.